Hello, so uh, I'd like to give a brief presentation of our team's analysis of the Pizzeria Mamma Mia. So um, starting off for uh, the analysis of this pizzeria, we created three different um, uh, app dashboards. Um, so this is our main dashboard right here, where you can see the um, around 2,000 case count um, uh, with around a 41.03 uh, minute throughput time. And so here, you over on this, um, this display over here, you can see the different um, variations the, of the business process. So you can see, for example, there are 926 times where um, an order started at this node right here. And you can see the, for example, 254 of these 926 ordered at the counter, while 672 ordered by phone. And you can see the breakdown of how um, how these different orders went through the decision process and where they deviated from the normal. And so here, this would be, for example, the top four different variants. But of course, we can expand this and to see the different other ways where in which um, orders move their way through the ecosystem. And so, for example, here, in, or in addition to ordering at the counter and at the webs and or on the phone, they um, another option opened up to order at the website and created its own um, little uh, decision process. So moving on to one of the more specialized dashboards, we have a cost profit throughput time overview. And so again, for the around 2000 cases, you can see that there was a cost of around $30,000 and uh, by subtracting um, the revenue and the from the from subtracting the cost from the total revenue we calculated the total profit around of fifteen hundred dollars oh, sorry fifteen thousand dollars and so here you can see um, a very similar um, dashboard for the variants and you can you see here also a breakdown of the costs relating to pizza types and so for example here you can see the average pro profits for each of the pizza types with the calzones and speciales costing the most while the paprika pizzas um, resulting in a pretty low um, percent of the profits. Moving on to the customer overview, you can see that the number of you can see this breakdown of number of customers per district as well as the different customer types and uh, their the ratings that they left behind on a scale of zero to five. So here you can see that there is a high uh, volume of customers from Munich District One and then slowly decreasing over two, three, four, and five. And so as far as the conformance goes. Um, we can see that there were 39 um, different um, violations with a 33% conforming cases. Now, then, um, this low number might be explained by the fact that a lot, of, as per the problem statement, we know that um, Pizzeria Mamma Mia is a family-run business. That is, um, and a lot of the data here was transcribed physically. And so, for example, you can see in this um, 233 cases, start preparing the. The case start preparing pizza is followed by start preparing pizza. Of course, um, this specific um, instruction or this specific data entry doesn't make sense. And so that can be explained to poor data entry. And so, for example, we can also see here that uh, if we sort by the max number of deviations, uh, we can see that the, the, the age group with the most non-conforming cases are um, teenagers. Um, yeah, and so moving on to some of our the business uh, analyses, we can see uh, from as from the uh, profit overview that the average profit um, for veggies and calzones are the highest. In other words, veggies and calzone pizzas have the highest profit margin. But um, in terms of the number of pizzas orders, margarita pizzas and salamis are the most ordered. This means that the pizzeria Mamma Mia is not profiting the most off of its um, pizzas with the highest profit margin. And so what we would suggest here as a team would be that because the profit margins for veggies and veggie pizzas and calzones are so high, pizzeria Mamma Mia can afford to create a high discount on these or promote them in general, um, create advertisements for these kinds of pizzas to increase um, to increase their the number of um, people buying those pizzas, and because those profit margins are so high, they can sustain um, a pr they can stay remain profitable while offering those discounts. And so, moving on to location analyses, we can see that the vast majority of customers for Pizza Mia, Pizzeria Mamma Mia come from Munich District One, and they decrease over two, three, four, and five. However, um, the profit in terms of profit, um, Munich District Three 
actually contributes the most. Average profit, followed by two and then one. What this suggests is that there's a group of people in Munich districts two and three that despite living further away from the um, pizzeria, which is located in downtown, um, still like um, the pizza enough that they're willing to wait the longer delivery time. And so uh, what we would advise is for Pizzeria Mamma Mia to actually invest more in delivery so that um, they can keep the these customers who obviously like their food, um, these customers in Munich districts two and three that despite being farther away really like the pizza. And by investing more in delivery, they can attend to the care of these customers uh, more closely. And yeah. Um, those are our analyses.